What's going on everyone, One Doctor Genius here, and in this video, I'm showing you guys how to catch an Acromi in Prodigy. Alright guys, so basically, an Acromi is an evolution of the Brawl, and in this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to get it. And I'm your host, One Doctor Genius, and let's hop on straight into our video. Alright guys, so well, what, what does the Acromi evolve from? Well, the Acromi evolved from the Brawl at level 24, right? If you guys look in our pet book over here, you guys can see, at level 24, the Brawl evolves into an Acromi. Right, so now basically, in order to do this, what you guys have to do is, you basically have to catch a Brawl, and if... And once you guys do, all you gotta do is, you just gotta level up the Brawl once again, if it's over level 24. Right, now let's see, guys, the description of the Acromi. Alright, so over here the description says the eyes of an Acromi are so bright and big that they're often mistaken as stars in the night. And right, if you guys look at the actual sprite of the Acromi right over here, let me just pull it up on screen. Kapowie! Right, if you guys look at this, um, its eyes do kind of look like stars, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now if you look at its health to power ratio, it seems like that the monster has approximately 60% hearts and 40% damage. Because that's how much of the scale it takes up, right? Yeah. And not only that, this is a storm type element. So as you guys know, the storm type element has a few weaknesses, which means this pet is weak against the ice type, the shadow type, and storm type. Not only that, it's strong against the water type, and it is neutral against earth, fire, and astral. Right, so that's enough blabbering, let's go on to actually catching this guy. Now you may be wondering, hold up doc, what spells can this pet cast? Well, the Acromi can cast spell. With Kenka, this pet's moveset includes four different spells. Now, two of these spells are storm type spells, while the other one is earth and snow, right? Now, this pet can cast Ion Cannon, Unlimited, Power, Force, Hurricane, and Snowling Ball, which, if you guys ask me, are some pretty decent spells in the game. Now, it will be able to cast the spell Ion Cannon at level 31, Unlimited Power at level 36, Force Hurricane at 32, and Snowling Ball at 73. Right, so that's enough. Now, what you guys have to do is, you guys can tell that my Acromi is actually pretty close to leveling up. So let's finish off a few battles and level our pet up. Right, let's get that Falling Star Smash. Alrighty guys, there we go. We casted our spell on our opponent and it seems like our opponent's health has gone down a bit. Now guys, a random fact about the Acromi is that the Arena Coliseum Challenger Phineas has Acromi along with him, right? Alrighty guys, so now you guys can have a look at all of its old I- now, we now what you guys can do is you guys can take a look at its old icon, the old attack animation over here. And not only that, you guys can take a look at the walking animation, you guys can see that its talents are pointed backwards. Those tiny feet are known as talents, well, their claws are actually, but yeah, you guys can see. And this is what his old idol animation used to look like. Now, let's click that OK button and cast our spell on the opponent, which should be able to destroy them or not. Seems like we have to cast one more spell, and hopefully our Acromi will be able to level itself up. Well, our Brawl will be able to level itself up and then evolve. So yeah, let's do that. Kawabunga! Here we go, we have casted our spell doing 4,000 damage, and the entire opponent team is obliterated. Right now, this pet's gonna run away, and we should be able to collect our stars, in which I do believe that our Brawl should be able to gain enough stars to level up. To level up. To level up. Alrighty guys, here we go, we're casting our supernova, which should be able to obliterate both enemy pets at once, so now we should gain enough stars to level up, right? Yeah, let's let these pets run away and collect our stars. You won, woohoo! Give me the stars, that's what I care about. 20 battle stars! Are you kidding me? Are you being serious? Alright, yeah, there we go. Our Brawl has reached level 92 and now it is evolving into a drum roll, please. A Cromil, right? Yeah, there you guys go. We finally got ourselves the pet. And it seems like it gains 105 hearts per every level up, which is pretty cool. And we unlock the and we unlock the spell Snowling Ball, which if you guys ask me, that's also actually pretty cool. Now that we've gotten ourselves this pet, let's test out how good this is in battles. Bam! Pet team! Equipped! Moving forward! Bam! Right, let's go to the shipwreck shore and destroy some monsters!
Alrighty guys, finally we have found a water opponent, so let's go attack this animal and see how well the Acormel does against a water type pet. Right here we go, water type pets are weak against electric, so let's cast the spell Ion Cannon and see how well our pet does. Avada Kedabra! Here we go, we're casting our spell with just 3626 damage. Now if you guys ask me, that isn't too much damage, but do keep in mind that the Brawl's hearts are above normal, right? Now not only are this monster's hearts above normal, but it can also cast electric spells and it also depends on how fast. Now guys, that isn't too much damage, but here's the thing. The Acorn Bill is meant to have a lot more health than the damage which it can do. So the damage is always going to be less than, it's always going to be near around 40% of its health. Right, in this case it was near 4000, so I guess that's kind of true. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cast like the other three, uh, the other two spells which this pet has available on top of the enemy team. So let's quickly do that. Alright, here we go. Another spell has been casted, another 3,656 damage dealt. Right now, it seems like our opponent is casting their spell on us, which only does 1,000 damage. That's only one-tenth of our entire health. Now, let's cast the spell Unlimited Power and obliterate the enemy team. Now, over here, we shall cast Thou spell on top of the opponent team, doing 3,600 damage up front and 3,000 damage to the monster in the back. So it seems like it does 6,000 damage less, but that's kind of okay, right? Yeah, now let's cast a spell Snowling Ball. And without that, let's also take a look at its attack animation and its idle animation. Alright, so it seems like that its attack animation, it just swishes its wings forward, which is pretty cool. But other than that, its attack animation isn't really too much, right? Let's just obliterate the opponents. Ah, yes, there we go. We instantly managed to destroy the enemy pet in like three attacks, right? That's pretty cool if you guys ask me. So it does seem like that the Acromel is a decent pet because it has 50 50, nearly 50 50 health and attack damage. So if you guys ask me, that would be a pretty balanced pet. Now let's collect all of our stars, open this chest, and guys, I am afraid that is all we have time for in this video. Now I hope you guys did find this video informational and figured out what, how to get an Acromel in Prodigy. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. And I will be catching you all next time when Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. And have a good time.